Hey everyone, welcome back for more Space Engineers! Yay! So, as you may have noticed in the previous video at the end, it said at the title, Chaos Breaker 2.0. Well, I did try to uh, replicate the Chaos Breaker. Uh, it's got the same sort of style with the red and black. It's also got the tower at the top. Um, it's just totally different every everywhere else. Except for the front, it's still got that uh, triangle bit. Which I've actually turned into a uh, battering ram. Uh, this here is the hangar bay, since all ships need one when they're this large. And since I have this gap between these two struts, support structures, I thought, why not be more efficient with space and uh, put all the cargo containers in between them? So that's what I did here. Uh, you may have noticed there's no ships in the uh, hangar at the moment, because I'm yet to design one for this ship. And uh, yes, these things are lights, I've just not turned them on, because it turns out they're very laggy. You know that uh, scene, uh, um, last video, where it was just extremely laggy? The first scene, with that large, long ship. Um, the reason that was laggy is because all the um, all these lights were turned on. Alright, so this is actually the main, um, main part of the ship, where the crew lives and all that. And this here is just a window that I thought would be nice to put in the sides. Uh, this here is a spare uh, nuclear reactor. If uh, the main nuclear reactors are destroyed, then there's these spare ones that could be used as backup power. I've also got multiple uh, bridges for this ship. So there's this one, this is the original one, right at the front, with two terminals. If that one gets destroyed, there's this one here, which is in a more secure location behind the engines and all that. So, we've got that one, and I'll show you the other one later on. This here is the med bay. It's just a little enclosed area. And that's it on this floor. <laughs> There's not much else to show off at the moment. Unless they have more blocks, then I can put more blocks in. Up this way. Right. So, first floor on the tower. This is actually the tower, everyone. First floor, you got these uh, little cargo things, which might contain suits or whatever, equipment, needed to actually repair the uh, hull on the outside of the ship. Because this uh, leads to the outside of the ship, basically. So you can actually repair any damaged equipment on the ship. So I thought that would be good. And this here, before I move on, this here, these uh, turrets, they're missile launchers. There's eight of them on top, and then underneath, if I can get there quickly, or oh, whatever, I'll show it later on, there's eight more underneath. These are the front missile turrets, basically. Anything in front of this ship will just be devastated. And I might as well just show off the uh, battering ram. There you go, there's the battering ram. It's actually pretty thick, it goes back all the... It's just like a one huge block goes all the way back to here. And then, if I can show this off, let me open my hood up. And then turn it to a black block so I can replace them again. There we go. So what this is here is a spring. It actually cushions the impact of a... You know, natural ramming thing. <laughs> Very nice description of it, I think. Ramming thing. Jeez. But yeah, it's 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 like one huge block, and then there's like the spring here. This minimizes the damage taken by the actual ship itself. This ship. So that's the plan in any anyway. 
here's some uh, side Gatling turrets. You want to attack my engines? Well, you got to get through these first. Alright, let's get back in the ship. Because I want to show you the third place where the third bridge is. It's also the observatory, which is pretty neat. Alright, up these ladders. I can't be bothered to climb them, so I just use my jetpack. And up we go. There we go. So, welcome to the observatory and the third bridge, basically. Of course, this one's the most vulnerable because it's, like, really exposed. So, I, w I would not actually be keeping staff up here. But... If uh, the two other bridge sections are destroyed and this one's intact, well, they could use this one to try and at least try and make a limp to get away. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get in one of these terminals, shall I? That way I can show off the rest of the ship easily. So there she is, the Chaos Breaker 2.0, and sorry there are no red lights, because this game just does not have red lights, alright? There are no red lights, so this is the best I could do, actually. You may have noticed there's no red stripe on the side. I kind of didn't feel like putting that there. Well, well, there's the tower, anyway. It's also got a uh, antenna at the top. Antenna, antenna, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go forward. It's going to take so long to go forward, though. Look, I'm only doing, what, 8ms, 9ms, 10ms now. Maximum speed is 70. Look at all that mass, 11,000 kilograms. No, 11 million kilograms, I mean. <laughs> that is a lot of kilograms. And, as you can see, my uh, reactor uh, output is 24,000 gigawatts. And I'm only using uh, a power usage of 14.73%. So, yeah. <laughs> I've got 100... F well, I've got... What is that? Is that an S at the end of thrusts? I mean, the number... Looks like an S or a 5. I can't tell. It's either 14 thrusts or 145. But I think it's more like 14. Uh, I don't know yet. The, the font is a bit weird. Actually, I think it's a 5 because on the reactor's part there's 24,752. So yeah, it's 145, I think. <laughs> Stupid font. Alright, so I'm a... I'm achieving maximum speed almost. I'm almost at its maximum speed. And as you can see, we're not actually getting anywhere. We're actually stuck in the middle of uh, this uh, star system. This asteroid belt. We can't actually get anywhere quickly enough. I want to get to those asteroids. Sorry, they're too far away. You're going to have to travel for five, about five hours or something. Uh, well, I gotta get there quicker, damn it. Wanna see this thing crash into stuff. Alright, fine. I better build something to crash into. Because this is just taking too long. And if you just don't press anything, your ship automatically slows down. It actually activates your braking thrusters, as you can see here. So now it's actually slowing down, and it, uh, there we go, it's stopped. And yes, everyone, I know C is to go down, and I know F is to go up, and I know W is to go forward, and all that crap. Stop shouting it in the comments. <laughs> Alright. So, I would activate the reflector lights, but I don't feel like playing with, like, 5 FPS. I'm not doing a, uh, I'm not really bothered about the lights anyway. So, there. So, I want to build some sort of blocker at the front of my ship for it to ram into. Like I did in the previous scene. Which kind of went a bit wrong because my ship came at it at an angle. Which minimised the impact. 
Plus, it was just a light, it was really a light target, so yeah. But this battering ram could probably tear any ship in half, to be honest. In fact, it could tear, tear every ship in half, I think. Since it was built in such a way to do that. I mean, there's no other way of fighting another ship at the moment, because weapons don't work, so the best thing you can do is ram other ships. And this is what the Chaos Breaker 2.0 accelerates at. And yes, it kind of does look like a Dawnbreaker because it's got no red lights on it. There's nothing I could do about that. Right, uh, I think this is um, far away enough, I think. So let's oop, press G, new large ship. Right, so uh, let's uh, build this up. I don't care what colour it is, and it looks like it's making me build it at an angle. Which is kind of annoying. I wish I could actually get my Chaos Breaker to ram that other ship that was in the beginning of my uh, uh, messing around with the physics video. The physics of colliding ships together. Actually, what I did in that first scene was basically chop the ship in half and then place a terminal on one end and make it just uh, collide with itself, basically. And it it did that awesome footage, basically. It was pretty cool, I thought. Very laggy, though. Alright, so let's build up. I should probably uh, build this uh, hull to be, like, the same thickness as the average ship, which is, like, one to two blocks. Of course, my ship is the average uh, ship with one to two block thickness, but uh, mine's built in such a way that it can actually uh, resist impacts more better than uh, other ships. And I'll show you later on why that is. I mean, it's such a simple concept. I mean, have you ever heard of Whipple shielding? If you haven't, uh, look it up on the wiki. And I'll show you what that is uh, once I've built this and I've rammed the hell out of it. I'm just building a box at the moment. <laughs> this is the uh, best that you can do with build mode in this game. Just place blocks in rows. Oh wait, that's what you had to do in uh, Stormy as well, kind of. Except if you could do like 10 by 10 chunks. And you had to do it by 10 by 10 chunks. This I could do it in like unlimited as far as I can go. Like 100 blocks um, in that distance. Which is really cool. I'm almost done here. Just need to add the uh, final section. And it'll be ready to ram. I can't be bothered to add a second block thick hull to it. So, screw it. Let's have the average hull anyway. Which is like one block thick. And this is how my uh, Chaos Breaker will perform. Battering the average ship, basically. I should also probably add internals and all that to this. Like, uh, where is it? I'll just get them all out, so... Large reactor, thruster, terminal, gyroscope, and it's got a gravity module. Right, so that there, some nuclear reactors there, and I want some gyroscopes, and that's not a gravity module, oh well. I thought number 9 was the gravity module. No, that's the small nuclear reactor. Oh wells. Alright, now I want to place thrusters everywhere. So there's three of them there. I don't know which way is forward though. I don't care. I'm just going to place them in a random direction. Like that. 
Now I want some facing upwards. There we go. Now we need to fa make um, two more directions, basically. So there's that direction. There. And that direction. There we go. There's your average ship, kind of. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not your average ship, but in terms of the hull thickness, it is your average ship. Right, once I get back to my Chaos Breaker, it's time to ram the hell out of it. Or shall I say, time to ram the chaos out of it. Anyway, I know that was not a Batman voice, so shut up. Don't even start. <laughs> Right, almost in the ship, and there we go. Now to find a terminal, and the closest one is up. So, jetpack speed. All right, T. There we go. Are we ready to ram the hell out of this ship? That's angled chaos breaker correctly. There we go. It seems to be at a good angle. Alright, ramming speed, Captain. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We all know what's going to happen, though. It's going to dip my bloody hammer. And, uh, do some damage. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh! Oh, that just got owned. <laughs> All right, reverse thrusters, reverse thrusters before. <laughs> Holy crap! Reverse, reverse! Damn it! Oh, I think I'm taking it with me now. It's one with the ship. <laughs> Holy crap! I please shake this off, my. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that is awesome. Right, T, let's get out of here. Don't worry, I've saved a backup of this ship, so any damage I take, I can easily uh, just forget about it because it never happened. Right, time to get to where the hammer is. The battering ram. And see that awesome damage. And I couldn't get there fast enough. Oh, man. Oh, it's got to the first layer of um, my spring. Oh, that is nasty. Thing is, though, that could probably batter another ship or two. This hammer could. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that is really bent though. Why why isn't there like heavy armor so it can like resist it a bit more? Instead of just caving in on itself. That's one huge thick chunk and it's like, eh, I'm gonna cave in. Ugh, I tell I tore this ship apart. Holy crap. Let's see if it even works. Um there's no forward thrusters. There is only backwards. Oh crap! Why did I do that for? I could not stop it. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. So, there's your average ship. The Chaos Breaker just tears it in half. And I took minimal damage. Basically, my, uh... Battering ram it has took all the damage basically, but all my internals and everything completely intact, especially due to that spring I've got at the front, which makes it more durable as well. Right, so what I was on about with the Whipple shield is if I could bring up my hull so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, come on, stupid saving. Right, let's get down there. Welcome to the Whipple Shield. It has two layers. 
Here's the first layer. I mean, this is the first layer, and this is the second layer. Before you get to the internals. And it works pretty well. And of course, in between the two layers, there's a two block gap. And, um, supports, basically. So this is why the Chaos Breaker is more durable. But I haven't tested its durability yet, have I? I'm sure you'd like to see uh, this ship get impaled by something. So let's do that. I'm going to build a battering ram to batter in the Chaos Breaker. And there's a stupid flyer around here. It's flying about and being annoying and distracting me. Right, so I want to be above the ship because I want to test out the Whipple hull, Whipple shield. So I think this is a good enough angle. So let's build a battering ram. Uh, the first stage of my battering ram is just to build the actual ram itself. And this is just going to be a massive block, basically. A rectangular block. Like this. So it's rectangular, now turn it in blocky. It's like a 3D printing machine! Lol. Right, it needs to be about three more blocks thick. Actually, I think it'll do with this much blocks. Alright, so now the next stage of building my battering ram. Let's build like a long pole here. And... Have it like this. Oh god, I'm teaching people how to build battering rams in this game. Great! Everyone's just going to be ramming each other with these sort of things. Well, it's not really hard to think of building these things. <laughs> right, there's the power for it. Now I need the forward thrusters first. One, no, what? One, two, three. Three thrusters. Oh, 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 oh. Four, four thrusters, whatever. <laughs> right, so I need braking thrusters, of course, and all that crap. Let's use the uh, small thrusters, though. So, oh. I'll use the. No, they're covered. Don't want to risk that. So, down thrusters. The up thrusters. Whatever thrusters. The uh, braking thrusters. And the uh, side thrusters. There we go. All kinds of thrusters. Now all it needs is a terminal. So number six. And there. Right, let's uh, get in my battering ram. Why isn't it turning though? I've got all the thrusters, damn it. Do I need more? Isn't this enough? Are you not entertained? Is that enough then? Right, terminal, terminal, terminal. There we go. Is it working now? No, it doesn't want to work still. Oh, it does, kind of. It's working. Just have to fly backwards for some reason. Alright. Let's angle it. Try to. Try to angle it. Trying. Uh, there we go. It's kind of angled. There. Are f there. There we go. Ramming speed. 
to turn off the hood. Um, ooh, ho ho! Deadly. Actually, I think that's gone right through. Right, there we go. Actually, has it gone all the way through? Yeah, it's caused a hole, yeah! Oh. But, but... My tur Yep, the bridge, the first bridge is totally intact. So... Yeah, I take that, stupid battering ram. And yes, it could keep going, but uh, this terminal is like touching the ship now, so once that's gone, it can't actually move any further. So this is the worst this battering ram could do to my ship. Not much, really. It's took out the first layer like it would do. And it's gone through the second layer, but it's completely intact, to be honest, the ship is. I didn't expect to hit it so hard, actually. <laughs> Last time I tried it, it was just like, yeah, first layer gone, second layer totally intact. That's what happened last time. And no, not the scene where I was destroying my engine. That's pretty cool, though, how everything just bends and cracks and everything like this. That was a block, now it's a triangle. Pretty cool. And you get space debris. Like things chipping off and all that. It's really cool, I find. I mean, this was a uh, part of the first layer. Now it's just a floating space debris. Oh, it's also got this part as well. Oh, that's not good. The actual maintenance shaft has been taken out. So now anyone was, that was standing in here is just going to be sucked away! Uh, unless they're using a jetpack. And they were smart enough to close the doors or something. The d oh, these doors were taken out as well. Yeah, why is that not there? Oh yeah. Doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so that's destruction everyone. Epic destruction. Now let's see what happens when I uh, fly backwards in this thing. Let's get in a uh, terminal, like this one. And fly backwards! Oh, it can't move. For some reason. What if I go this way then? No. Turn it. I can't move. Why can't I move? I literally can't move. I could go forward. But backwards, I can't go backwards. That sucks. Let's go forward. Ramming speed. I'm so sorry, ship, that I totally tore apart before. I'm sorry I have to do this, but I have to move forward. Oh god, that's actually chipping away into my hull now. Can I go side? Oh! I may have dislodged it, actually. No, it's still in the ship. Why won't it leave me alone? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. It's doing more damage, though, because things just chip away for some reason. Uh. Oh, God damn it! Stop breaking my ship! And no, it's not the internals or anything, and my weapons are completely intact, still, luckily. But still, stop breaking my ship, damn it! I'm trying to dislodge you. All it's doing is going back and forth, I can't actually lose it, it's like it's going the same speed as me, for some reason. Come on! Get out of the ship already! There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, it's gone. Finally. Let's go forward. Yep, I've totally lost it. 
It's now out of the ship completely. Let's see the actual damage, shall we? Let's inspect it. Wow. Uh, it created a huge hole. Holy crap. <laughs> and there's a bit of additional damage on this part. Not that much, though. Saving. Great. Great. Thank you for saving my wrecked ship. I totally appreciate that. Some uh, space debris, debris over there from my ship. There's a bit there. It's pretty cool. Has it taken out one of my windows? It's taken out one of my windows. How horrible of it. At least that one is uh, intact still. But if there was anyone standing here looking out the window, like right here, they would have died. So rest in peace, person that uh, stares out of that window. You'll be long remembered as the one who liked to stare at that, out of that window. Oh well. <laughs> Alright. So that's the best I can do at the moment. I can't really play multiplayer because there is no multiplayer at the moment. And weapons are non-functional. There's nothing to really explore except for those asteroids that will take forever to fly to in this thing. Unless I start off in an asteroid. Actually, I have a space station in the works, so... Perhaps I could show that off once it's finished. But have, have you seen uh, some of the space stations in the Steam Workshop? Well, one of them anyway. It's it's, it's amazing. You should look at it. It's like one of the, it's like the top rated space station, and it's awesome. Professionally built, probably by the developers themselves. Show offs. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now, everyone. So my name's General Von Doom. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it uh, convinced you to buy the game, or not convinced you to buy the game. Uh, if it didn't, oh uh, well, uh, maybe another video would uh, make you want to buy it. Maybe not, I don't care. It's your money. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all next time. Subscribe, Subscribe to the Epic Journal, Fondue.